Why is that? Is it because you get to hang out with me? Nope. Is it because we're having banana milkshake later? Nope. Although that is quite exciting. What is it then? It's because today's story is about someone small who stood up to someone really big. As big as me? Even bigger than you. He was huge. Oh, let's hear this story. Hi, I'm David. I'm a shepherd and I live on a farm. I have eight brothers. Pretty cool, right? Not many people have eight brothers. One day when he was at, he got a letter. Dear David, I hope that it's going well. Give the brothers bread for they are at war. Here's some bread. We don't want bread, but thanks for bread. Delicious. Thanks, Dad. But you shouldn't be at war. You're too little, and they sent us for a reason. Give me your strongest warrior and let us fight, because I'm Goliath and I'm evil and stuff. <laughs> um, if you want, I can fight Goliath. Eh, okay. I really want somebody to fight him anyway. I'm going to collect five stones. One, two, three, four, five. They'll do to defeat Goliath. This will do. Tra la la la. Let us fight. You choose him. He's weak and skinny, and he's just a little boy. <whistles> Bonk. Ow! And they went away forever. Huge thanks to Millie for that amazing stop motion Lego video. It was so awesome. Thank you, Millie. We're going to be looking at David for two weeks. And this week we looked at one of the most famous stories in the Bible about David and Goliath. David was a shepherd boy. That means he looked after all the sheep and he made sure they were protected. So he knew how to fight lions and bears and to protect those sheep in a way that sometimes put his own life in danger. He also played the harp and wrote songs and poems. But when his brothers were sent out to war, he had to stay behind. He wasn't allowed to go. But one day, his father sent him out with some bread and some cheese to take to his brothers. And when he got there, what he found was this huge giant who was shouting horrible things about God. Now, all the people that were there, King Saul and all of his warriors, didn't say anything to stop him. They just let him shout that stuff. And they were all too afraid to fight. The Philistines had made an agreement that if they sent out their best warrior and the Israelites sent out their best warrior and just the two of them fight, then whoever wins, it's like the whole army has won. So that means they don't all have to fight, just two people. That doesn't sound too hard, does it? But then when they wheeled out Goliath, they realised, the Israelites realised, that their best warrior was bigger than any of the Israelite warriors. There was no way they could defeat this huge giant. David knew that with God on his side, he could do something about this giant. He shouldn't be allowed to stand there saying all these awful things about God. So David took five smooth stones and his sling that he'd used to fight off lions and bears. And he swung it and Goliath fell down and they won their victory. The Israelites won. I wonder why all the other people were too scared, but David had the courage. He was only little compared to Goliath, but he was so brave. We're thinking this term about heroes in a pickle, but actually in this story, David wasn't the one in the pickle. It was Saul and the rest of the army. They were in the pickle. They didn't know what to do, but David knew exactly what to do. And in the end, it was Goliath and the Philistines that were in a pickle. 
Now, quite often when we hear this story, we think a little bit about bullying. Now, if somebody is bullying someone at school, the answer isn't to fight them in the way that Goliath did. But there's lots of things we can do. And when we see things happening that aren't right, when someone's being treated badly, there are things we could do. I wonder whether you want to chat together for about 30 seconds about what you could do if you were being bullied or picked on, or if you saw somebody else being picked on. Have a chat. There's loads of things we could do. We could chat to a teacher, we could chat to our parents or our brothers and sisters if we've got them. We could chat to God, ask God what he wants us to do in that situation. And you know what, it's really important if you're ever being picked on or bullied that you speak out and you say something. God is with you in that situation and there's lots of other people who love you and care about you and can help you out. In our craft activities today, we have got a bit of a challenge for you. So the challenge is to make a target, like an archery target or a dart board, and make lots of rings on it. Remember, the middle one needs to be gold. And on each of the rings, you might want to, to write difficult situations in the world or in your own life. So it might be that the outside one is the world and then the next one is England and then the next one is Abingdon and then the middle ones are your family. Things that you want God to help you with. Then I want you to take a pair of rolled up socks and I want you to throw it at the target. And as you do, you're praying for all those difficult situations. And you might want to include things like bullying in those situations that you've written on the target. So that's my challenge for you this week. The instructions are in the uh, downloadable pack from the CCA Family Resources website. And that's our way of praying this week. So I want you to find some socks, find a piece of cardboard and make yourself a target. You could compete against your family to see who can hit the most number of rings in the target. And are adult socks easier to throw than children's socks? I don't know. You'll have to let me know. Anyway, have a great week, guys. Bye. So I found this amazing song by Ren Collective, and I'm really excited to introduce it to you. Matt kindly recorded it. We don't have any actions yet, but if you've got any suggestions, do send them in. So enjoy singing King of Me. My God's the king of the giants, my God's the king of the lions, my God's the king of the creatures of the deep, my God's the king of me. Have you heard the one about my friend King Dave? Would let the giant stand in his way? He said, hand me my sling because he's not that tall. My God's bigger and I watch him fall. Cause my God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep My God's the king of me Who the one about this band called Dan He was a mighty holy praying man He said throw him to the den of the scary beast But God saved the hero from the lion's teeth Cause my God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep My God's the king of me This is more than history He will do the same for me Like Jonah around the well at sea When I'm lost in the dark and alone and afraid you're with me Oh, you're with me Cause my God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep My God's the king of me My 
Mega's the king of the giants. Mega's the king of the lions. Mega's the king of the creatures of the deep. Mega's the king of me. Oh, you were right, Pickles. That guy was huge. God's people really were in a pickle. I can't believe no one was brave enough to stand up to Goliath. David was brave, wasn't he? Yes, and God helped him. He can help you too, Pickles, in whatever difficulties you face. That's awesome. Is there time for us to make something today? I've seen in today's challenges that you can make a target out of cardboard and throw some rolled up socks at it. That sounds like fun. But I'm a monkey and I don't wear socks. Lions don't either. Maybe we can borrow some of Heather's while she's not watching. <laughs> Bye! Bye!